Protests like these now beg the question of what First Amendment rights do students have while protesting on college campuses? Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander joins us live in the Digital Center. Tyler, are there limits on free speech and what are they? Well, Eric Deanna, as everyone is well aware, students or anyone for that matter have a First Amendment right to protest. However, once a demonstration is declared unlawful, protesters have to leave or be subject to arrest. Tonight, when does a person's right to peacefully protest go too far? That's the question being asked after more than a dozen people were arrested on the campus of Virginia Commonwealth University when pro-Palestinian protesters clashed with police. You have your right to speak, but that doesn't mean you have a right to um, you know, physically obstruct other people from using this space that you don't own. Speaking broadly, George Mason law professor Christopher Newman says public entities like colleges and universities are allowed to put what's called time, place and manner restrictions in place for safety and security reasons, provided they don't censor content. It's those restrictions that VCU says protesters violated last night by erecting tents on school property and failing to get proper permission to host a large gathering. It's perfectly legitimate for them to say, look, we have safety concerns. We have the fact that this is a space that lots of people have claims to use. And so we're going to have to have some way of permitting, of deciding who gets to use it when, of deciding what the rules are to keep it safe. Shortly thereafter, Richmond police declared an unlawful assembly and anyone who refused to disperse was subject to arrest. State law describes an unlawful assembly in part as, quote, whether three or more persons assembled share the common intent to advance some lawful or unlawful purpose by the commission of an act or acts of unlawful force or violence likely to jeopardize seriously public safety, peace or order. I would say unlawful force would include occupying a space when the people who are entitled to control that space ask you to disperse. If you continue to occupy it, that I think could qualify as unlawful force. Now, Richmond police say they declared the protest an unlawful assembly after water bottles and chemical spray were used on officers. However, eight news reporters who were on the scene at the time say that didn't happen until after an unlawful assembly was already declared. Live in the Digital Center, Tyler Englander, 8 News.